The history of Shahi Kila goes back to 1550s at the time of Emperor Akbar to Aurangzeb. It is located in the northwest of the city that is spread 427 meters east-west and 335 meters north-south. The southeast area occupied Akbar's court. Marvels of Shahi Kila Architecture The architectural marvel known as Shahi Kila, also known as the Royal Fort, stands as a testament to the grandeur and opulence of ancient times. Located in the heart of a bustling city, this magnificent fortress encapsulates the rich cultural heritage of the region. Built centuries ago, it continues to captivate visitors with its awe-inspiring design and intricate detailing. In this article, we will delve into the breathtaking marvels of Shahi Kila architecture, exploring its historical significance, unique features, preservation efforts, an impact on modern architecture. Historical Background of Shahi Kila Shahi Kila's history dates back to the medieval era when it was commissioned by a visionary ruler seeking to establish a symbol of power and authority. The fortress was constructed strategically, overlooking the city, and served as a stronghold during turbulent times. It became a center of governance, housing the royal court, administrative offices, and residences of the ruling elite. Architectural Features of Shahi Kila Main Gate and Entrance As visitors approach Shahi Kila, they are greeted by a majestic gateway that immediately transports them to a bygone era. The intricate carvings and imposing structure of the gate exemplify the architectural finesse of the time. Intricate floral patterns, geometric motifs, and calligraphy adorn the facade showcasing the skilled craftsmanship of the artisans. Palace Complex The heart of Shahi Kila is its palace complex, comprising a series of interconnected buildings and courtyards. Each structure within the complex serves a specific purpose, including residential quarters, audience halls, and private chambers. The palaces are adorned with elaborate frescoes, intricate mirror work, and ornate arches, creating an ambience of grandeur and luxury. Diwan I Kaz and Diwan I Am Two prominent structures within Shahi Kila are the Diwan I Kaz and Diwan I Am. The Diwan I Kaz was reserved for exclusive gatherings, where the ruler would meet dignitaries and discuss important matters. The Diwan I Am, on the other hand, served as a public gathering space, where the ruler would address the common people. Mosque the mosque within Shahi Kila is a place of spiritual solace and architectural brilliance. Its elegant domes, minarets, and prayer halls showcase the gardens and water features. Shahi Kila is renowned for its beautifully landscaped gardens and water features, which provide a tranquil retreat within the fortress. Lush green gardens with meticulously manicured lawns, fragrant flowers, and shaded pathways offer a refreshing escape from the bustling city outside. The presence of fountains, reflecting pools, and cascading waterfalls adds to the soothing ambience, creating a picturesque setting that complements the architectural splendor. Influence of Persian and Indian Architecture The architecture of Shahi Kila reflects a harmonious blend of Persian and Indian influences. The intricate carvings, arches, and domes showcase the Persian architectural style, while the use of local materials, such as red sandstone and marble, exemplifies the Indian craftsmanship. This fusion of styles resulted in a unique architectural language that became a hallmark of the region, influencing subsequent structures across the country. Unique Features and Innovations Ornate Carvings and Decorations one of the distinguishing features of Shahi Kila's architecture is its ornate carvings and decorations. Every inch of the fortress is adorned with intricate floral patterns, geometric designs, and figurative motifs. Skilled artisans painstakingly carve these details into the stone, showcasing their mastery over the craft. The delicate carvings not only enhance the aesthetic appeal but also narrate stories from mythology, history, and folklore. Use of Marble and Red Sandstone 
Shahi Kila showcases the skilled use of marble and red sandstone in its construction. The contrasting colors and textures of these materials create a visually striking effect. The white marble, with its smooth surface, was used for decorative elements such as inlays, lattice screens, and intricate jolly work. In contrast, the red sandstone formed the primary building material, providing strength and durability to the structures while adding warmth and richness to their appearance. Integrated Defensive Structure